but there's no direct evidence so connected to crime. Only 17 days straight that's all on the squad for the care for his 40 pound dumbbell. It's frustrating. It's no days but off. Penitential muscle. This body aching, body sore. The continues we still run. Let's get it. I definitely, throughout the investigation, had, had more questions than the answers. Years pass without any new developments, and eventually the case of Carla Fuquay's disappearance is turned over to the county. Captain County Coke case investigators offered to assist, come in and help me. Um, I, I think they knew that I was doing a lot of it on my own. Cold case detectives hope a new set of eyes will jumpstart the investigation. They're determined to solve Carla's case. She allegedly went to meet somebody, and of course she did, but you go to meet someone, you go to this dark place where nobody lives, and she went, disappeared, and you just never heard from her again, her body wasn't found, so you draw a quick conclusion that that information must not be accurate. We're missing some pieces In December of 2012, two hikers on the hill behind the old Piedmont brickyard make a chilling report. Inside of these really thick bushes and briars and small pine trees, they happen to find a boot for the human to attend. Crime scene investigators find the boot led to an entire female skeleton. Further, the remains are located just two miles from the rock wall. Says to the place where Carla's friend Marty Lockridge claims he dropped her off the last night she was seen in Piedmont. It's pretty thick woods off of the road. Um, every direction went off the road was pretty big. She had a severe injury to her skull. Skulls broken, and it can only be caused by very hard blows to the head. While the body has decomposed beyond any chance for immediate positive identification, more clear evidence of a violent murder is found. Plastic zip ties encircled the arms and legs. It would appear that she was killed someplace else and transported to this place in order to be dumped. The question is. Has one of Piedmont's missing persons finally been found? Yeah. Could it even be Carla Fuquay? Well, said someone just put the side of the mirror after the delivery man. When owning a small business gets real, Progressive gets you right back to living the dream. Now, where were we? Why are you fixing the POD? Yeah. 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 just keeps getting better. Break it down, Candace. They got world-class bakers to develop their tastiest bread yet. This truly makes the Subway Series a dream team. You know about that, Chuck. Yeah, off the bread of that team, too. Try the Subway Series menu. The tastiest refresh yet. The Subway Series is getting an upgrade. The new number 19, the Pickleball Club. Who knew the Subway Series could get even better? Me. I did. Maybe you should host a commercial event. Sure. Okay. The Subway Series just keeps getting better. Sick. It's been more than three years since 28-year-old mother Carla Fuquay was reported missing. Her disappearance has left investigators in the small city of Piedmont, Alabama, consumed with frustration. Piedmont is very quiet. We have low crime rates. 
but uh, just like other small cities, we have drug problems, thefts, and a lot of violent crime. So, while residents here have become accustomed to hearing about local drug arrests, nothing can prepare them for the news that police have discovered human remains buried in the <laughs> woods outside of town. I was at work. Clicked on Facebook. And seeing where human remains had been found off Highway 21. So, there was a lot of fear in me. At that moment, it, it was real. I mean, you know, it was like, is she going to come home? Are we ever going to see her again? Who would do this to her? Why would they do this to her? What is, where is she? So, you know, it was just a lot of emotion uh, that rocked on for a long time. 75 will be. It had to be a confirmation and we had dental records to call, so it took several days for that to happen. It's the breaking news Carla's family has been dreading for years. It wasn't long to the police come in. As soon as I seen them, I started screaming. I don't know how to explain it. Because, I mean, you actually hurt. My heart hurts. hurts. When I know my heart's okay, my heart hurts. Literally. That's when the roller coaster ride kind of stopped. The real pain was there. She wasn't coming home. I mean, how could someone do that to her? How could they leave her where they did? They left us with a bag of bones. That's all we have. Detectives waste no time bringing in the man whom they now believe must know the most about Carla's murder for a polygraph test. Why do you lock her? And he was the last person to admit seeing Carla. Marty sticks to his story that he dropped Carla off that night and didn't see who she met. Do you know for sure what happened to Carla? The polygraph test confirms Marty's being less than truthful. You know you're lying. Test gave you up, Marty. So I want you to look at something, of course. Good morning. Game over. Let's get it.